shadow moved ominously across the land, dyeing the sky with blood and pounding the earth. Those who still have faith in justice and honor, valor and goodness call out his name. The ultimate superhero, the only one who can save the world from extinction. If he can't do it, no one can. Oh, me? Hello everyone, this is 3 Skate, and that awesome intro that you just saw is Beautiful Joe. This is a must-have game for your PS2, your PS3, your Wii, or your GameCube. You must have this. It's one of those games where, it's, where you think it's really stupid. You know, you think it's really useless, and you're like, wow, this game sucks, but when you play through it, it's very, very dynamic, very fun, very simple. So let me first start off that by saying that um, this game, Beautiful Joe, was you know published by Capcom, developed by um, Clover Studios. This was uh, Clover Studios was one one of those companies where it was like we have to make a statement about our company. We have to make a statement about how our games are gonna look. Um, we can't make it look like the same as much of the other video game game companies that make them. So we have to stand out between them. So what they've done is they've have like this art style in their games where it makes it so mesmerizing to watch. Um, it, it makes it so unique from different games and it, it makes it very very robust, very nice looking. Um, the games that they've published are you know Okami, uh, God Hand, you know um, games like that they've published those and those games are very fun to play. Um, I've never played Okami or God Hand but I've seen how it looks and it looks extremely fun to play. So, um, behind the series of Beautiful Joe, this game is technically, it's like a, a movie game, but it's, it's very fun to play. Uh, so how the way the game starts, you start off, you know, as Joe, and he, like in an instant you know that he loves going to movies and watching his favorite superhero, and his superhero's name is called Captain Blue, and he watches all of his movies, he's like a huge fan of them. And who doesn't want to be a superhero? That's what I love about Joe, like, period. Um, who doesn't want to be a superhero? And, you know, he's like, oh, my God, you know, Captain Blue is so awesome. You know, he watches his movies every single day. And one one day he brings his girlfriend, Sylvia, to watch the movies with him. And at a, at a certain point, the movie actually comes alive and grabs Sylvia and kidnaps her. And... Uh, it actually catches Joe as well, and since both of them hurling into this movie world place, which is called, ironically, Movie Land. So, you know, now your job is to capture Sylvia, you know, from the Movie Land place and return to return to the real world safely. This game is so great. Like, I, I know I've said this millions of times, and this is pretty much the first time that I've ever said, you know, like, this, you have to have this game. That's that's like the first time I actually said that in any of my videos, but I'm that serious. So the uh so when Joe starts going into this movie world, you know, he's hurling down to the ground and he's like, Wow, I'm actually in the movie, this is awesome. And at a certain point, you know, Captain Blue comes over and gives him this special item which turns him into his alter ego, beautiful Joe. And here's a nice clip of it. Ah, your heroes has awakened. Now the Watch is responding to your hero instincts deep down inside. When the V-Watch starts to glow, say the word... Henshin! Henshin and don't go, baby! We'll come and get. So you start off, you know, with, with your powers now. So you have these cool powers that you possess. So I know, I know, I shouldn't spoil you all about this, but uh, forget it. Uh, I'll just tell you the powers that he has. 
So his powers is like you know it's like a like a live movie. Um, he can slow down. He can slow down time. He can speed fast. He can uh, go really fast in mock speed. Um, he can zoom in with his close up, which makes his attacks more powerful. And I think that was it. But you know, once you master all of these elements of powers that he has, it's really fun to play. And uh, you know, his his mock speed. He goes really fast. He punches real fast and. And then he punches so fast, he like develops like fire powers and stuff. It's it's so much fun stuff going on. Um, the storyline is very addictive. Uh, storyline is very addictive. It's pretty funny too. It's a really funny storyline as well. Uh, it's not it's not one of those storylines that's like too funny, but it has it has like a nice like a nice uh nice nice level for it. Um. You fight like a nice series of bosses. Uh, like when you fight his bosses, they're they're at a time they're really competitive to beat. It takes a nice amount of minutes to beat them. When you first start off, they have uh di different difficulties. They have it's funny because they they make the difficulties like a movie. Like the beginning is the beginning difficulty is kids mode. Uh, normal mode is probably adult mode, and then hard mode is V rated. So you have all these modes, and it makes it even funner to replay the game. You know, just in case if you think like, you know, I'm so awesome at this game. You know, I don't even need to play it anymore. And you know, it can't be, it can't possibly be more difficult than this. And then once you beat it, they're like, you unlocked, you know, V-rated mode. I'm like, wow, V-rated mode. This must be the hardest mode. So you play that, and you go through it. I never played through uh, V-rated, but I know it's really hard to get through. Uh. Now, Beautiful Joe did have a sequel. Um, it was called Beautiful Joe 2. And Beautiful Joe 2 is a lot more difficult than 1. If you want to start playing, if you want to start playing first, you better start playing 1 first before you first before you start moving on to 2. Because uh, on the GameCube version, on the GameCube version of Beautiful Joe 2, you have to, you have to play as Sylvia. You have to play it. And she she's not a good character. Um... Maybe some people might disagree with me, but I gotta say I don't like her. Reason why uh, I didn't like how the way um, the game made it seem like you actually had a choice to choose between Joe and Sylvia, because you you can, but at the same time you can't, because you can't beat the game unless you use Sylvia at a certain point, because there are puzzles where you have to use her. So it's like. Wow, I had to use this character, you know, and you know, Joel was awesome as it was, and you have to now you have to switch to Sylvia in order to get through. But yeah, I thought that was a little odd. And after after two, two was really good though. Two offers a, a lot more challenges. Uh, it's a lot more difficult. And <laughs> it's funny because when you play through, say you play through the first Beautiful Joe, and then you move on to Beautiful Joe two, and and then you move on to Beautiful Joe two, and you say. You know what? I'm just gonna go to adult mode. So I already know how to play this game. So you play through adult mode, and you're like, "All right, that's fine." And then you go to V-rated, and you're like, "Okay, that was a little challenging, but you know what? I somehow got through with that." Now they have this thing called Ultra V-rated. After that, which pretty much means the enemies that you go against, like on your adult mode levels, you know, your first levels, you know, you go through simple ones, you know, simple enemies. The levels that you go through <laughs> on v Ultra V-rated. The enemies that you don't see until like the fifth stage, they come on the first level. And when you turn, it's so awesome because when you when you use up all of your um, V energy, you turn back to normal Joe. But the way they make it look, it look like an old movie. And you can see like the reels coming down from the from the screen. It looks really fun. It looks really good. And sometimes I do it on purpose just to see that because it looks that cool. And uh, they had another one which is called... Uh, Beautiful Joe, Red Hot Rumble. It wasn't an adventure game, but it was more like a party game, which looks really fun. And once again, I I jumped the gun on this game because I thought it was going to be horrible. And I looked at the gameplay, and it looks really fun, especially if you had like more than one player. It looks like a really fun game to play, so check that out. I'll try to show you the intro to uh, Beautiful Joe, Red Hot Rumble. But yeah, you definitely have once again, you definitely have to get this game. This is a must have game for your PS2, your PS3, your Wii, or your GameCube. This is 3Skate signing out. Hope you enjoy.